Uh, welcome to this video where we will discuss the Mate 40 series uh, rumors uh, currently. Uh, we are a few weeks or maybe let's say month before the release of the Mate 40 series and we want to talk a little bit about what we can expect from the new Mate 40 series by looking at the Mate 30 series and see what might have improved when it comes to the Mate 40. First of all I will discuss mostly the Mate 40 Pro because the Mate 30 Pro is also the one version that got released worldwide and the Mate 30 itself I think only got a release uh, in certain countries, not all countries around the world. Uh, so also just because the rumors just uh, mostly talk about the Mate 40. First of all we will talk about the display because you can see one of the controversial changes with the Mate 30 Pro was the waterfall style display. You can see it's very round here and we have a waterfall display so if I turn it on here you can see let me <laughs> go to an application with a white color just like here for example you can see here the display is like like a waterfall it drops down and you can see things leaking here with a 90 degree angle almost and with the Mate 40 Pro they will keep using this waterfall display I'm not sure about if they will keep also the function to double tap on a side to launch the volume rocker which is a nice function because you can do it on either side and you have now the volume rocker wherever you like to have I like to have a physical volume rocker and I think you can see the the power button here they managed to squeeze it in I think they could also managed to squeeze it in to have like a volume rocker here as well a physical one maybe together with the option for those people who like to use the other side to use the soft volume rocker as well but we will see the first leaks of the screen protectors for the device show that it will have a very strict waterfall notch even a bit rounder I think than the one on the Mate 30 Pro so the Mate 40 Pro will have a waterfall notch how about the Mate 40 I would say they will keep the strict planar the strict straight display of the Mate 30 because the Mate 30 didn't have this waterfall notch and I think the Mate 40 uh, will also not have this one then let's come to the front of the display also a bit controversial discussed but in the end I think face detection 3d face detection in the notch here pretty good a bit smaller than on the Mate 20 Pro but still a bit yeah big especially if you want to watch videos let's open up some YouTube video here new Sony camera came out you can see you can see if you see this video here there's the notch a bit disturbing the viewing experience and I think with the Mate 40 Pro and the leaked screen protectors what we can see also the rumors there were some posts on Weibo which is like the Twitter in China where someone was posting some emojis explaining how the camera system on the front will look like and he explained in pretty much good detail that the Mate 40 will have a single punch line uh, on the top left corner for a camera and the Mate 40 Pro will have a double punch hole um, on the front for the front cameras so two cameras probably which cameras we don't know yet but it will have uh, the top uh, left hopefully not as big as on the p40 pro because this was one of the biggest critique also when it comes to the p40 pro and hopefully but if it is like this this big i hope that they keep somehow the 3d detection they have here the screen unlock which is pretty nice and also works for uh, password managers and authentication so i like this very much and I don't want to lose this so hopefully the Mate 40 Pro uh, managed to keep this in a smaller package and to put it in the in this um, uh, double holes then um, this was one of the biggest critiques on the P40 Pro because it had this double hole but it had a night vision like uh, screen unlock but not the 3D unlock that we have here 
on this device so i really hope that they managed to do to put this in there uh, what we can also expect is a 90 hertz display at least a 90 hertz display i'm not sure if on both devices mate 40 and mate 40 pro but i think that we will have um at least the 90 hertz display on the mate 40 pro maybe even because there are rumors that there was a second device mate 40 pro with 120 hertz in testing could also be like a 20 hertz panel which is by default running at 90 hertz with the option to go to 120 hertz if you want to you can set it for specific applications eventually or for the because they have like a battery saving mode but they also have a performance mode so if you switch to the performance mode it will go to 120 hertz or maybe a bit more than 90 hertz like 100 hertz or something like this this would be also pretty nice to have and if it goes into battery saving it goes to 60 hertz so i could imagine because they are main the, the mate series always was a good one when it comes to uh, battery run times i could imagine they keep uh, the 90 hertz display don't switch to the 120 hertz display just because of the battery but i would really like to have like the 120 hertz option at least for those people who want to use it and uh, can live with the reduced battery life so we will see what will happen and um yeah i'm not sure about the mate 40 i think it could be stuck on 60 hertz just for the sake of battery life but could also have like the p40 a 90 hertz display uh, then uh, what do we can what can we expect outside of this uh, display stuff we can expect a different uh, cpu inside this is, will be very very interesting because tsmc has stopped producing kirin chips and the rumored kirin 1020 that should be uh, the successor of the 990 of the mate 30 pro or mate 30 series uh, won't make it 8 million approximately 8 million chips uh, is what huawei currently has of the 1020 5 nanometers uh, better performance 50 percent better performance than the 990 uh, which is pretty cool but it needs for the 90 or rumored 120 hertz display it needs this performance as well uh it will be a bit hard i would say and uh, we will see maybe they have a dual strategy just like samsung so they will either from samsung or mediatek uh, get other chips that they they will use for the global version of their mate 40 and for the domestic one they're using the kirin uh, 1020 or the other way around we will see how it will work out one thing is clear they cannot use the kirin 1020 uh, or what could be because they acquired or they let samsung build up a whole lineup for creating cpus which is uh, based upon asian uh, and korean uh, and chinese technology and uh, not any us technology involved so maybe they are creating kirin 1020 chips or special chips there at samsung maybe it will be a special exynos chip we, we don't know currently uh, Emotion UI 11 will be hopefully will be uh, a big upgrade with a lot of smoother animations and optimizations for the 90 hertz and 120 hertz displays and some more optimizations when it comes to the browser. I really like to have to the option to set my custom uh, uh, search engine there, use DuckDuckGo instead of uh, Google, for example. And uh, the memo application uh, the, uh, should have an option for searching in my, um, in my, my, my uh, to-do lists, uh, my shopping list here. I like to search. I like to have an option to search. Huawei, if you listen, add an option for searching in my memos. I really like to do this. And uh, then, yeah, improved multitasking, I think. So the multitasking that we have here with uh, this swipe and this um, toolbar and windows i think this needs to be improved for certain applications and uh, the desktop mode also needs uh, to be improved i think and of course one very interesting fact um, ah, finally fix the picture in picture mode for youtube and netflix and finally what we will see probably eventually i don't know at least they had a uh, pat patent for this it's like controls here on the ring so for changing the volume for accepting a call or notification light i'm not sure if you will see something like this so mm, we'll see what will happen this is my 10 minutes uh, rumors uh, summary for the mate 40 and uh, series mate 40 pro in specific uh hope you enjoyed it uh give it a like a thumbs up and uh, let's see what the mate 40 will look like will it be a good a great successor to the mate 30 Write it in the comments. What do you think?
拜。